Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Well, guys, before we start, uh, people, well, the ones that are already connected, let me ask you, you already completed the platform? Claudia, you said yes yesterday, right? Stella, you said yes. that you're missing the last part. Cecilia, did you already finish? Yes, teacher. What about you, Andrea? Andrea or, yes, Andrea. Yes. Yes, teacher, solo que hay un ejercicio que sí tenía dudas, pero le iba a preguntar al final de la clase. All right, all right, no problem. Adriana, what about you? Are you still working on that? I don't remember yes, if yesterday you told me that you were still missing some exercises, am I correct? Yeah. Oh, so. Pero, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, bastante ayer, así que ya estoy en el... En... En el examen, así que solo me falta el cuatro. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So that's fine. Stephanie, what about you? I finished, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So um, another question that I was going to ask you, if someone already finished, um, did you get the certificate already? Yes. Hey. Ya lo descargué. <laughs> okay, perfect. So... <laughs> Is there is there any mistake, any problem, any situation with the with the certificate, or is everything fine? Everything fine, teacher. Okay, perfect. Cause some of the teachers have had some issues with some of the students because apparently the signature it was not correct, or the position of the signature it was not well possessed, but. Um, if you already have it, then you said that is correct. So I'm guessing everyone is going to get the same thing. So you got it already, Rufino, or no yet? What? Repeat again, please. Did you did you get your certificate already, or no yet? No yet, uh, because in the um, rotulo they say. Uh, and that me, I participate uh, like uh, assistant uh, because I don't uh, I don't have certificates for this. Mm, I don't understand. So, no tienes el certificado todavía? Or ya terminas? Did you already finish the platform? Yes. Uh, en mi plataforma parece un un rótulo que dice que yo estoy como asistente y que no eh, se me va a extender certificado. Eh, ¿Ya informaste eh, de esa situación a alguien de, de administración o aún no lo has hecho? No lo he hecho todavía. Please, send me that information, envíame esa información si puedes, porque eso necesitamos arreglarlo. Todos tienen que obtener certificado. Michelle. Uh -huh. Yo tengo el 88% y sí, ya me sale el certificado. Ok, so necesito que todas las personas que ya obtuvieron su certificado revisen que su nombre esté correcto, que las firmas estén correctas, que los tiempos estén correctos y que todo aparezca debidamente bien. De lo contrario, cualquier situación irregular, por favor informar para que no tengan problemas al final. Ok, Teacher, todavía. Eh, sí. Uh -huh. Este, creo que a mí me, me pasa también lo mismo que a Rufino. Creo que aparezco como asistente. Ok, por favor, las personas que aparecen como asistente y les dice que no se les va a extender certificado, envíenme su información, nombre completo, si pueden una captura de eso, eh, su correo, el correo que utilizaron para inscrip inscripción y. Eh, Bueno, eso sería todo para poder arreglarlo. Sí, Claudia. Tanta fue mi emoción, teacher, de ver el certificado que no me fijé que me han escrito mal Janet. Me lo han escrito con 
tres N. Ajá. <laughs> ya see. le voy a mandar la captura. Ok, ok, ya, yeah, please, por favor, vuelvo y repito, todas las personas que ya terminaron la plataforma y tienen alguna irregularidad en su nombre o algo, háganmelo saber para evitar esos problemas a último día, porque luego... We still have, uh, todavía tenemos dos días para poder arreglarles eso. De lo contrario, después de eso, pues yo ya no, ya no, no me deja el sistema y no me permite poder ayudarles en esa situación. Por el Thank momento. You. Ok. Gracias por aclararlo porque, bueno, yo lo, lo había dejado así, ¿verdad? me preguntaba el por qué. No, 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 no. That's, no, that's not correct. Mm -hmm. Ok, gracias. Ok, so, um, para todos, ¿verdad? Información para todos, ¿sí? Necesito que lo hagan en estos dos días que todavía nos faltan de clase. De lo contrario, después les tocaría a ustedes solos ver cómo se las arreglan para poder eh, solucionar esos problemas, ¿ok? But for the moment, I, can, I still can help you. Todavía puedo ayudarles a ustedes, ¿ok? So, well. Thank you very much for being once again on the class, guys. It's really nice to see pretty much. Well, we are 18 today. So um, we're going to try to learn as much as possible. So um, as usual, como usual, I will ask you questions about yesterday class. Who, alguien de ustedes, que por ser un buen alumno haya trabajado en los ejercicios someone alguna alma por ahí que se dignó a hacer ejercicio I empecé pero no terminé no me quedó chance lo I sé. know no I understand entiendo que algunos de ustedes chicos you work and that's completely understandable but yes teacher I I finish my my day exercise Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's pretty, pretty nice. All right, so I'm going to ask you questions, guys, regarding to yesterday class. Yesterday, we saw um, like and dislike. So who can tell me one of the formulas or a structure that we need to use when it comes to creating positive sentences? Using like and dislike. Mm -hmm. um, positive uh, sentences. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we use something? Object is like, like, the noun. Mm -hmm. Say, say it again. I, I didn't lis listen that well to you. Subject. Subject. Like, dislike, in noun. Yeah, that's one. That's one of the formulas that we saw yesterday. Who can tell me formula number two? Question and um, short answer. No, that's for always for positive sentences. Ah, okay. The, the second rule mm -hmm. is subject uh -huh. plus like uh -huh. or dislike uh -huh. plus verb. Okay. With ing. With ing. Excellent. So is it true that every single time that I have a verb that follows like and dislike, am I always going to use ing with that verb? Yes or no? Teacher, repeat okay. again the question, please. Any exceptions? Exceptions, okay. So the question... Okay, Mm -hmm. perdón, perdón, no, go ahead, go ahead. Puedo utilizar el, 
two to play. Okay. Two. All right. So, but according to what we said yesterday, is it, am I always going to use ing when I have a, a verb next to like or dislike? Uh huh. Repeat, please, teacher. What's going on today, guys? Yes, so teacher. The, we can use. Okay, we can. So the question was once again: Am I always going to use ing when I have a verb next to like or dislike? Yes, we yes, can teacher. use. Yes. We add ing, uh, the verb. Yeah, we add or ing. We can para separar los el verbo, verdad? Si no, se le agrega el ing. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So, well, today, guys, uh, we're going to see articles. We are going to focus in a and some any and zero article. Have you ever heard about zero article? Well, el silencio dijo más que mil palabras, so that means a no. So for today, guys, as it says over there, we're going to see a and some any and zero article. Today, we're going to learn how to use them because most of the time when we are learning English, we usually make mistakes because we do not know or we do not understand how to use zero article because zero article is not that common or it's probably um, um, it's not common to use it. Well, actually it's common, but we do not know how to use it. So we're going to start by A-A-N. And I'm pretty sure that some of you already know how to use it. So we are just going to have a brief review and we are going to focus a little bit more in zero article because that's very important. Okay, so I will need a volunteer for this part, please. Adriana, to go ahead, please. Okay. A and N. Mm -hmm. We use A and a slash N articles with singular countable nouns. Examples My brother has a dog and my sister has a cat. There is an accident uh, on the corner. Okay. And okay. Thank you very much, Adriana. Someone else would like to help me with this part? I volunteer, teacher. Okay, go ahead. A is used when the next word starts with a consonant sound. Mm -hmm. A book, a guitar, a friend, a university. The start of the word university sounds like you, a consonant sound. Okay, thank you very much. We are going to stop there. So it says, guys, that we are going to use the article A when we have a word that starts with a consonant sound. Esto no significa que solo porque inicia con consonante, yo la voy a usar automáticamente A. No. It must start with a consonant sound. ¿Qué es un consonant sound? Ya sabemos, la B. ¿Cuál es el consonant sound? B. G, F, like sounds, okay? So, as you can see here, tenemos a university. Cualquiera diría, pero teacher, este empieza con una vocal, porque no utilizamos an, an university. Why? Because when we make the pronunciation of university, the sound that we do, as it says here, sounds like you, right? Like, like, a, like a pronoun. 
So that's why we use an A instead of N. Okay, are we understanding? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Another volunteer that would like to help me with this. Jenny, go ahead, please. And um, is used when the next word starts with a vowel sound. Okay. An apple. Yeah, go ahead. An ice, mm -hmm. an ice cream, an orange, an hour. The letter H is in this word is silent, silent. So Sorry. it sounds mm -hmm. like like it starts with a vowel. Okay, thank you very much. So as you can see, guys, it says that we use N when we have a word that it starts with a vowel sound. It doesn't necessarily mean that just because it starts with a vowel, we have to add automatically N. No, it doesn't mean that. It means that uh, if the sound or the word starts with the vowel sound, we will have to add the article in. So we say an apple, an ice cream, an orange, but what happened with our? When we say our, this one sounds like a vowel. Our, an hour. And because the letter H in this word is silent, we take that into consideration and we say that that's a vowel sound. So that's why we are using N instead of using A, okay? So let's move on. This is just general information, guys. Someone that would like to help me reading this whole part. Jenny, go ahead. Uh, we use some and any with plural nouns and an uncountable noun. Mm -hmm. Some is generally used in positive sentence. Mm -hmm. Any is generally used in negative sentence. Okay. Thank you very much. I, no, thank you. So guys, as we can see there, as the information says, normally in the English language, we are going to use some when we're talking about positive sentences. In any, we're going to use it with negative sentences. So we're going to see some examples right there, but remember that some in any are going to usually be used with plural nouns or uncountable nouns, okay? So let me see. Um, Tatiana Pleites, go ahead and help me reading the first two sentences. I have some information for you about flights to Paris, Post mm -hmm. positive uncountable. I don't have any information for you about flights to Paris. Mm -hmm. Negative, un uncountable. Yeah, uncountable. All right, so clear examples that we have there. As you can see, it's pretty much the same information that we're trying to give, but the difference that in, in one, in the first one, we are saying that in a positive way, and the second one, we're saying that in the negative way, but at the end of the day, they both are trying to give the same context to someone. And we can see how or when to use some in any. okay? Thank you very much, Tatiana. So let me see uh, Luis Enrique, please help me reading the next two. We met some friends for drinks after work yesterday. Positive, plural, countable. I didn't see any friend there on Thursday. Okay. Negative, plural, countable. Okay, negative, plural, countable. All right. So as you can see, once again, we are using in this part, countable nouns. And the one that we had 
uh, up there, up these ones, we were using uncountable nouns. So once again, we can see how are we using some and how are we using any. So that's the main thing that I want you to focus on, okay? And the last two, um, let me see. Rodrigo, thank you very much. Go ahead. I think he will have some time to speak to you today. Mm -hmm. Positive and contable. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will have any time to speak to you today. Negative. Okay. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. So, as you can see, guys, this is not difficult, actually, because you only have to remember that some you're going to use them for positive and any for negatives, obviously with countable and non-countable or plural countable nouns, okay? There are some exceptions, obviously. There are some of them, but we're going to learn them later on. So, let's move on. Here we have, once again, some of the examples. Let me see, I will need Stephanie Figueroa to help me reading this part, please. Okay, teacher. Some and any. Usually, the term is both plural, countable nouns, and uncountable nouns. Thank you very much. So, Andrea, please help me reading all the examples. Okay. I draw some pictures. There isn't any milk in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Yes. Also, this part. Uh, pictures, plural countable noun and milk, plural uncountable noun. Okay. So as we can see, the first one, it says, I draw, I draw some pictures. There isn't any milk. Once again, we're using countable and uncountable nouns just to see how can we use some in any. Once again, we can see what the previous explanation said. Some for positive and any for negative. That's pretty much it. So here, um, we have a little bit of explanation that we can also use the article any to refer or to make questions when we want to ask something. Let me see, uh, Brenda Villeda, can you please help me reading this part? Use any in negative sentence and question. Okay. Read this one, please. And negative sentence. He doesn't need any stamps. Okay, thank you very much. Now, this is pretty much the same as the other ones, the other examples that we already saw. So we are going to go directly to this one, like creating questions with any. It's very simple, guys. We can use, well, pretty much we're going to use any when we want to make uh, questions all the time. So let me see, Lisa Montoya, can you please help me reading? Uh, questions. Do you have any friends in Chicago? Mm -hmm. Is there any pollution in your city? Okay, thank you very much. So let's move on. So, here we have the exceptions that I was telling you before, guys. We have to be really careful with these exceptions because we can sometimes make mistakes if we don't pay attention to the exceptions. This one, as you know, como nos dimos cuenta atrás, dice que siempre para hacer preguntas, to make questions, always we are going to use any, siempre. But, According to this exception, de acuerdo a esta excepción, hay dos formas únicamente cuando vamos a hacer evidentemente una exception y vamos a utilizar some instead of using any. Okay, let me see 
Carlos Dubon, can you please help me reading this part? Do some in, in question whether of fairing or requesting. Mm -hmm. Would you like some break? Mm -hmm. Or I have some water. Thank you very much. So the exception says, guys, that when we want to make an offer or when we are offering or requesting something to someone, we are going to use some instead of using any. For example, in example number one, it says, would you like some bread? Now that you already know the model verbs, what do you think or why do you think, well, obviously we're using some because we're offering something to someone. Le estamos preguntando a alguien, ¿te gustaría un poco de pan o le gustaría algo de pan o quiero un pedacito de pan? Como nosotros decimos in Spanish, it's because we're offering, le estamos ofreciendo. So every single time that you offer something to someone, you will have to use some and not use any. Are you guys following me? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. All right. So let's move on to number two. It says, could I, could I have some water? You are politely requesting to someone that if that person can give you some water, so, because you are requesting that to someone, that means that because you are requesting, you cannot use any. So, you will have to use some. Okay? So, remember, offers and requests, always use some. All right? So, another exception that we have is for any. So let me see, Alejandra, Cristina, help me reading this part, please. Use any in positive sentence when the real sense is negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, read the example, please. I refused to give him any money. Means okay. I didn't give him any money. Okay. So the only exception that we have for any guys is that we know that, um, do we use, utilizamos any para positives or negatives? Negative. Negatives. But en esta situación, aunque la oración está aparentemente positiva, because you cannot see, no podemos ver ninguna negación, o alguien puede ver alguna negación. No, right? Mm -hmm. Because if I say, si yo digo, I refuse to give him any money, aparentemente, de acuerdo a gramática, no hay ninguna cosa que me diga que está negando. Pero el sentido de la oración sí es negativo. ¿Ok? Yo digo, I refuse, me niego, a darle dinero. So, when we have a sentence like this, we will have to use any, even though the sentence apparently looks like positive, but the sense of the sentence is negative. That's the only way when you are going to use any instead of some. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. It's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So let's move on to the zero article. So I will need someone to help me reading this part. Jenny. In English grammar, the term the term zero article refers to an occasion mm -hmm. in speech or Writing where a noun or noun phrase mm -hmm. is not res is not preceded by an article, mm -hmm. a, an, or the. Mm -hmm. 
the zero article is also known as the zero determinator. determinator. Okay. Determiner. Determiner. All right. So um, as you can see, guys, it says that the zero article normally in speech or writing English, it refers to a noun that is not preceded by an article. We already know an articles, which are the articles A and some any, we can use them too. And also exists the article the, okay? But in this case, the zero article, it's when we do not use all the articles that you know, because there's some rules that you need to know in order not to use it. So today we're going to learn where not to use it so you don't make mistakes in the future. So let me see Norma Marbelli. Help me reading this part right here. Okay. In general, no article is used with proper nouns mass noun where the reference is indefin indefinite mm -hmm. or plural con count noun where the reference is indefinite. All right, thank you very much. So let's see. Here we have all the cases where we will have to use no article or the zero article. Number one, it says we use no article with proper names. Example, Sarah is my cousin. So, yo no puedo decir the Sarah or a Sarah. That's not possible. Why? Because we're talking about proper names. So, in this case, we call that zero article because it's not possible to use it with proper names. So example number two, it says, where's Grandpa Michael? I cannot say where's the Grandpa Michael. Probablemente si usted le pone da ahí, cualquiera podría decir, pero donde está el Papa Michael o el Abuelo Michael? Probably in Spanish, that will make sense. But in English, we do not use that with proper names. So keep that in mind. Proper names, no article, okay? So let me see. Let me see who else. Jacqueline, let's go and help me with number two. Okay. We use no article with uncountable nouns when we are referring in general. Mm -hmm. Examples. Water is an important resource. Mm -hmm. Fiber is important for the health of the digestive system. I love democracy. Mm -hmm. I like listening to music. She is veterinarian. She doesn't eat meat. Okay, so keep this, um, this rule, let's say number two, very clear guys. Why? because we will use no article or zero article only when we are referring in general. If you are talking about something specifically, you will have to use article. For example, in number two, in number one, I'm sorry, it says water is an important resource. But what if I say, the water of Ilopangos Lake is an important resource. Will that be okay for you guys if I say the water of Ilopangos Lake is an important resource? Is that okay? Does it sound okay to you? Yes, because you are talking about a specific what? In a specific place. Okay, what do you think, place. Adriana? Porque es un dato en general, nos está refiriendo a un nau en específico. Este, y pues, no va. Sí, eso. Y aparte que el agua no es un, este, algo que se pueda contar. 
All right. Okay, it makes sense. So keep that in mind. For example, in number three, is it okay? Estaría bien si yo digo, I love the democracy of El Salvador. Is it okay? Si yo digo, I love the democracy of El Salvador. No. It's not okay? No, teacher. It's not. Mm -hmm. Because no, it's not general, I, I think. Okay, pay attention to that. Nuevamente, en la número tres dice, I love democracy. Cuando yo digo eso, me estoy refiriendo a la democracia en general. Pero si yo digo, I love the democracy of El Salvador, ya no estoy hablando en forma general. Yo estoy hablando de la democracia de El Salvador. Por lo tanto, sí es importante utilizar el article the. ¿Sí? Ok, teacher. So teacher, our, pero y, our, y democracia no es eh, un contable. O sea, yes, si ok. Contador, mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Si es un contable, no, no la, o sea, no es cuantificable, no deberíamos usar el. el, el ok, árbol. creo que nos estamos yendo por la tangente y nos estamos fijando en esto solo porque dice: We use no article with uncountable nouns. Pero sí, dice con uncountable nouns. Únicamente when we are referring in general. Solamente cuando nos estamos refiriendo a general. Pero yo puedo uh -huh. usar un incountable noun aún siendo uncountable, pero si ya no me estoy refiriendo a algo en general, por lo tanto, sí puedo usar un article. Ok. Thank All right. You. All right. So. Hopefully it's clear for everyone, okay? So let's see number three. Rufino, help me, please. We use no article with plural countable nouns when we are referring in general. Example, dogs are commonly referred to as men, men's bets, Friend, rich people think a behavior differently. Mm -hmm. Okay, once again, venimos a lo mismo. Cuando hablamos de forma general con countable nouns, no vamos a utilizar article. Pero qué pasa si yo hablo de, al, de algo específico? Voy a utilizar article, yes or no. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. So, en nuestro país consideramos que ciertas áreas del país vive solo gente un poco apoderada, ¿no? Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué parte del país podríamos decir? Uh, la más conocida es Calón. Vamos a ver eh, el example number two that says, rich people think and behave differently. Ahí estoy hablando yo in general, right? But what if I say some people, some rich people from the Escalon think and behave differently? Will that be correct? Guys? Yes. Yes, why, it's correct. Why is correct? Because it's in specific, specific place. A specific place, yes, completely like that. So what I want you to focus and understand is that only when we talk in general is when we do not use in an article. But if we're talking about something specifically, we are going to use it. So let's move on. Let me see Alba Saavedra help me with number four. Let me see then... Um, Claudia, you will help me, Claudia Rayeta with number five. Then Cecilia, you will help me with number six, okay? Okay. Cool, so go ahead, Alba. Okay, 
we use an article with their like, you know, names of language. Chinese is no more difficult than other languages. Mm -hmm. I like to speak French. All right. Only that? Yeah, thank you very much. So keep that in mind when we talk about languages, we do not use articles. We say Chinese, French, Portuguese, English, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, thank you very much. Number five. We use no article with the name of meals. Mm -hmm. Example, what would you like for breakfast? Lunch is ready. Mm -hmm. I feel sleepy after dinner. Okay, so, yeah, so pay attention to that, guys, because generalmente cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés cometemos errores de decir the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner. So, remember, use no article when you're talking about the names of the meals. So that's why the zero article or no article is very important for you to know. So, number six, please. Uh, we use no article with the names of games or sport. Example, uh, baseball is the kind of sports in the Dominican Republic. Baseball is the king of sports in the Dominican Republic. Okay, thank you very much. Is this part clear, guys? I think that this is very clear, correct? Yes, clear. Correct. All right, very good. Let me see, I will, and this one is going to be for Lisette Montoya. You will have me reading number seven and the first three, the first three sentences, and the other sentences are going to be for Andrea Rende. So go ahead. Okay. We use no article with the names of days, months, seasons, holidays, and part of the day. Mm -hmm. Examples, see you on Monday. Mm -hmm. Many Americans celebrate Halloween on October 31. 31st. 31st. Mm -hmm. And I love summer. Thank you very much, Andrea. On St. Patrick's Day, everybody, everybody wears green. Mm -hmm. Are you coming over for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Their day mm -hmm. celebration in Mexico takes place on May 10th. 10th. Thank you very 10th. much. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The stars shine at night. Mm -hmm. The sun had set and dusk settle, settle? Settle. settle over the ocean. Ocean. Okay. And this one, guys, it says that we are going to use no article with names of the days, months, seasons, holidays, and parts of the day. But there is some exceptions that I want you to learn so we don't get confused on that. So let's see. Here we have some exceptions, and I will need Adriana Marcela to help me with uh, reading this part, please. Um, there are some ex exception with the parts of the day in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Mm -hmm. uh, we use no article with the names of continents, countries, cities, towns, streets, and single lakes, and single mon mon mountain. Leave it, leave it there. <laughs> just, just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm going to explain what it refers to this one. So it okay. says, la, la exception, guys, para esta es que cuando nos referimos a las partes del día, en este caso sí vamos a tener que usar, for example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Sí vamos a, a tener que utilizar eh, un article, ¿sí? Solamente cuando nos referimos a esos tres. The morning, the afternoon, and the evening, ¿ok? Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So continue with the examples, please, Adriana. 
Okay, um, examples. Asia is Earth's largest and most populous continent. I live in Brazil. My address is 1520 Green Street, and she lives near Lake Superior, and I'm flying Mount Everest. Okay, so it's it talks about continents, countries, cities, town, streets, single lakes, and single mountains. It says that for all those things, we won't have to use articles. Asia, Brazil, Green Street, Lake Superior, and Mount Everest, okay? Thank you. Um, it also has some exceptions, such as the United States, even though, aunque la regla dice no países, la excepción nos dice que únicamente cuando hablamos de los Estados Unidos, so we will have to use the article the, also for the United Kingdom, the Philippines, the Netherlands, and the Sketch Republic, all right? So, Let's move on, Rodrigo, please. Number nine. We use an article with routine place. Examples. Mm -hmm. I am going to bed. They went to school yesterday. I'm at home right now. I go to work every day. All right, thank By you very train. much. Thank you. So it says that for routine places, no using article. Okay, I know guys that that's a lot of information, a lot of rules, a lot of things to learn. I completely understand that probably you might be thinking, oh my God, how am I supposed to learn that much? But believe me guys, while you practice your English and you are going to be doing that just by logical sense. It's also important that you know these rules so you know when not to make mistakes uh, so that's going to help you to speak a very good english okay so and these are the last rules so i will need let me see rufino for number 10 maria luz nieto 11 12 for stella and 13 is going to be for maria veronica Uh-huh. We start? Yes, go ahead. We use no article with means of transport mm -hmm. in expression with by. Example, she usually goes to work by bus. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. Every single time, guys, ya todos sabemos que cuando utilizamos los medios de transporte siempre tenemos que utilizar by y no vamos a utilizar un article. So yo no puedo decir she usually goes to work, uh, the bus, a bus, I cannot say that. So every single time we're going to use by, okay? Thank you very okay. much, Rufino. Number 11. We use no uh, article in exacla, exclamation. Exclamations. With, with what blows uncountable now. Example, what beautiful weather. Okay, so it says that every single time that you make an exclamation, cada vez que hagamos una exclamación con what, oh, for example, what a beautiful weather, right? That's an exclamation. Or if you say, um, mm, what a good day, right? What a good day. So all those times or every single time that you make an exclamation, obviously with what, you will have to follow this rule and not use an article, okay? So let's move on with number 12. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Yeah. Just go ahead. We use no article with academic subjects. 
academic subjects. Sample. Mm -hmm. Example. He is studied law at university. Mm -hmm. I like English. Okay. So every single time that we're talking about academic subjects, like he studied law, law at the university. I like English. All right, so try to keep that in mind. And the last one, number 13. We usually know articles with names of companies. For example, Bill Gates founded Microsoft, Facebook is popular free social networking website. All right, so. Once again, guys, algunas veces lo que hacemos nosotros es traducir de español a inglés. Y eso es nuestro peor error. Porque yo he escuchado muchas veces alumnos decir el Facebook. At least in Spanish, right? El Facebook. Y por ende pensamos que es the Facebook. ¿Sí? Utilizando un article, the Facebook. But no. When we talk about companies, we will always have to follow this rule and not use an article because we're talking about companies, okay? Are we clear, guys, in all those rules? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Significa que en el examen del jueves, 10 todos. Excellent. All right. Teacher, mm -hmm. de, todo el, el, de todo el curso no va a salir. It's just going to be some little questions. See, ¿sí? unas preguntitas fáciles. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, so let's go to the practice, guys. Uh, these conversations, we were going to do it, but because of the time, we're going to go directly to this part. So please take a screenshot right now and let me know so I can move on. Yeah, teacher. All right, then this one, that's it. Teacher se ve borroso. Okay, let me see. Probably is, probably is the quality, the quality of the image. La calidad de la imagen creo que es. So, um, but can you read it? Si lo pueden leer, right? Yes, teacher, yes. Yes. Okay, so that's the most important part. All right, so can, can I move or are we done with that? Yes, can I move? Okay, so uh, we're just gonna work on those two because of the time. And uh, please, guys, try to speak as much English as possible. So let's go right now. I will be checking all your groups. Okay, the first feeling is that the first 
be What is in the first? Okay. Are you going to um the, the beach? No sé. <laughs> Who said I? <laughs> oh my god. That was um. fine. Okay, I think is there. Are you going Are to you be going to afternoon? Repeat it, please. In my opinion, I think an apple. An apple. An apple. In an apple. An apple. Yes. An apple. Okay. And apple, the apple can be two. Sí. Yes. And the tree and the elephant. Ah. And elephants are very big animals. Mm -hmm. Or the elephants. No, da, no, no. no. Ah. The zero article. Elephants are very big animals. The it's elephant. general. It's general. Genus. Zero article. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, girl. A nice girl. girl. <laughs> a, a nice. Okay. Uh, my father is a policeman. A, a policeman. policeman. Yes. G. That is. That is. An interesting. Uh, an, an interesting. An interesting book. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And and uh, Bowel. Bowel in first. An, and the beginning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. H. The letter H. H and go uh, to. Is the blank. X, X, uh -huh. zero article. I'm going to bed. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to bed. I'm excellent. going to bed. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the letter I, letter I. I, my mom has has is 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 blank. If you go down the river, sorry, um, go down. If you go down the river to focusing on focus us. creo yo. Pero si no también la podemos borrar. Sí, yo también creo que You pass us the the Paulus on the way. Around and the awareness of the names of the famous place. There is the information of the language. I can see where the pixie. London to the working hand. Mm -hmm. 
the old. Oh, uh -huh. it came from the next the old. Um, where is what is the uh, what is my what is night? Que es night? Nilo. Um, El río Nilo, verdad? Ah, uh, okay. Mm. What is this? <laughs> X, okay. creo. Uh -huh, sí, X. Sí. 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 My cousin is from. Igual, X. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sí. My aunt is. At hotel. The same X. Um, mm. My aunt is staying in the no specific X. I mean, no, but an anterior, no, or the hotel. Mm. My aunt staying. Uh, a hotel Paris uh, the, hotel. Uh -huh. the hotel uh -huh. at the hotel in Paris and the, the Hilton Hotel in Paris uh -huh. at, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean this ship my own is turning at Okay, guys, were you able to complete the exercises, all of them? No, teacher. No, teacher. You didn't. No, I think we, nos quedamos en el último. The last one. Okay. So if you didn't complete them all, so that is going to be a homework for you for tomorrow. Because that is the first thing that we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to try to resolve those exercises tomorrow because I was checking some of the groups and you're still getting confused on the use of the zero article in A and I saw some people saying no when you had to use an article and some people saying yes when you didn't have to use it. So uh, I see that you're kind of confused, but that's understandable, okay? So that's the first thing that we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to resolve these two exercises, okay? So please guys, the people, people that hasn't finished um, the exercises on the platform, please try to work on that. You still have two days, guys. Two days, well, actually one. And uh, remember that you have to have at least 80% for you to be able to go to the next module, okay? So for those who has a problem in the certificate or the platform, do not forget to send me your information, okay? Please. So we can start working on that. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for being on the class and see you tomorrow night at the same time, okay? See you tomorrow, good night. Thank you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.